Welcome to CPAS today and thank you for your prayers for all that God has called us to do. I want in this edition of CPS today to invite you to pray for something in each of our three main areas of work, ventures, patronage and leadership. In regard to ventures, um, it's really exciting that we've got 1,800 members booked in for our residential programme this summer. We're hoping and praying that the current government route map um, stays in place and that we will therefore be able to run a whole load of ventures and falcons. The one thing we do need at this stage is some more leaders. So please, please pray that God will prompt leaders to apply. With regard to patronage, there's a lot going on over the next few days. Applications close this week for St Peter's Tunbridge, for Holy Trinity Lewis and for Barnsbury in London. So do pray for those submitting applications. We've also got a pre-vacancy meeting at St John's Woodbridge and a new vicar being installed at St Paul's Dorking. Please pray for those churches and all the individuals involved. And with regard to leadership, again, it's a busy couple of weeks. We'd value your prayers. We've got a leading change in COVID day today. It's fully booked. We've got some more webinars coming up in a couple of weeks and they are already booking up fast. So please pray for James and the team as they prepare um, materials for that. We're also doing some work with St Miletus this week with Peterborough um, Diocese and next week, we're working with Gloucester Diocese and the London Institute of Contemporary Christianity. So lots going on. Please, please pray. The writer to the Hebrews in chapter 12 says this, Since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. Whether it's ventures you're passionate about, or our patronage work, or our work with leaders, can I suggest that we use those couple of verses from Hebrews chapter 12 as a peg to hang our prayers on, that leaders might throw off things that hinder them in their ministry for the gospel, that we might all run with perseverance the race marked out for us, and that together we might, not just for ourselves, but for others, enable all to fix their eyes on Jesus. Thank you so much for watching this video and for your prayers. Take care. God bless. Mm -hmm.